very special episode of Loud About Nothing. It's me, your boy, the jolliest dude in the podcast game, Sebastian Canelli. And as always, per usual, every Santa's got a little helper in mind. The cutest little slut in town. <laughs> Give it up for the cute boy himself, Robbie Boy. Robbie, What's going on? Up. Say hello. You think, uh... Well, let's introduce our guest, and then I have a question I want to propose. Instantly with the question. I have a wow. question. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking format early. Yeah, Breaking format. Cool. We, we got the guest. We got the guest. We have a great guest. Let's, I'm we excited. have a fire guest. Fire guest. Fly, Incredible. So, Listens to the podcast, which we love. I do. It's true. And is, we love that. It's. It, I'm very excited. Most people do comedy for, uh, for no good. And this man does comedy for good. He's truly <laughs> yes. out here, literally uh, uh, spreading information. I said he uh, he does a, a show called Climate Town. Everyone should go follow it on YouTube. I'm sure yes, that yes, uh, yes. most people already do. But I was telling him. <laughs> most people. I will say a lot of people I know from Jersey follow Climate Town. Yeah. And not necessarily like before, before I started posting about it. People this I know. People me. know. This is people a big yeah, know, yeah, no, you're big time, you. baby. And that I don't even, they don't even know we're boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. So, uh, and I said to him yesterday, I go, what you do is you take hard, difficult topics and you make it really pal palatable blah, 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 um, for like a, a, a simple man like me. You really make it like, it, I'm able to absorb this information that I don't know if I would get in, in another source. Um, he's... He's a fucking, he's amazing. He's hilarious. He's out here uh, spreading good with Climate Town. Uh, he's also uh, the announcer for the U.S. Uh, the World, the Cup. World Cup. Cup. Yeah. World Cup of He's billiards. a pool influencer. He's a pool, he's a billiards influencer. And he's been to the White House. Give it up for Raleigh Williams. Wow, thank you guys so much. It's a. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. I really appreciate it. I'm yeah, so excited thank you. you came We're back. We're happy to have you on set. Finally. I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, Return guest. Oh yeah, I've never been in inside the dojo. This is great this is welcome right this is awesome this is really what's cool. your right, question this is what i was gonna say all right robbie do let's you see do you let's think see like santa's the, the village uh, that santa has in the north pole is more like the olympic village where everyone's like hooking up all the time and it is slutty vibes or do you think everyone's like we got a nice little family is it wholesome or slutty yeah Cause you're like I'm slutty helper. That's how you introduced me, and it made me think. Oh, do you think that it's slutty up there? In the <laughs> I think it's like any place. Okay, I, and it's not like slutty. any place. Yeah. <laughs> I, you can't yeah. say it's like it, people are working. Like I think it's. Do you think it's like a work hard, play hard kind of vibe going up on the in the North Pole? Yeah, I guess so. There's a lot of like videos of elves dancing, and dancing is the fucking of standing. <laughs> You've always said dancing it. Dancing is the fucking of standing. Dancing is the fucking of standing. Right? That's true. That's I mean, true. without the clothes, they're fucking, right? If they were lying down, dancing lying down is fucking, right? Okay. So fucking is the dancing of standing in my world. Right? I like that. That's totally true. You know, yeah. and, and they're not bad at dancing, which means they do it a lot. They yes. got a lot of practice. Yes. They're great. Every video of an elf dancing, tremendous. Mm. Yeah. They're doing twists. How many? Uh, what the, 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 they're spinning them yeah, around. It's, yeah. That is definitely a, a, a class in elementary school, I would say. In, in, in elf, elf, elf elementary school. school. Elf elementary yeah. school. <laughs> I would say that elf elementary school you, dancing is junior, just is arguably more important because they're not high. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, wow. it's a race to the bottom here. Yeah. Not about nothing. <laughs> or as elves would call it, a race to the regular. Oh. oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, they need to procreate, right? They have to. And they, but they don't just, they don't just need to procreate. They, they need to have a good time. Yeah, they, I like the idea of, yeah, they're just all having a good time. Can it's I? It's not that wholesome. It's just hooking up and then pe they, more elves get made as a byproduct of how fun this place is. They must have their own condoms. No, no, I hope there's no they're, condoms. They're, but they're like raw. stocking, they're it's stocking shaped. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Connect some dots here, you guys. We could do this, yes, and they have their yeah. own yellow and yeah. red. <laughs> <laughs> and and they hang them up by it. the chimney yeah. to dry after they wash them out. Yeah, because yeah, they're reusable. <laughs> <laughs> they're hung. They're hung by the. But then you know they're they're fucking massive. They must be. The elves are hung. Oh, with for hair. sure. You don't okay, hear the bed right. knocking. You hear the the, the 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 like little jingles. Jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> the jingle, shoes, jingle, yeah. <laughs> knocking boots is the yeah. Yeah. Can no. I can I posit a theory that okay. like if if a child is listening to this, you know, turn it off for the next fifteen seconds. Yeah. yeah. We all there know are thousands. Everything before was appropriate for you. Yeah. yeah that's now right. that's is right. when we get to the real. Yeah. Because I'm gonna I'm joke. gonna drop a <laughs> drop a little knowledge here. Okay. So maybe Santa's workshop and island or whatever only exists in our 
hearts, right? Yes. Okay. But okay. as we grow up, our hearts and our needs and our wants change. So I think it's very reasonable that as a child, it's a very wholesome place. But as you start, as you hit puberty, Santa's workshop becomes a real yeah. sex toy shop. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. This is gr- this is actually a great idea. Why why keep Santa's workshop in like the North Pole, like in childhood? As we grow, if it's make believe. If it's make believe, why not make it believe what we want it to? I agree, right. yeah. Wow, do you think? I, mean, I love this. <laughs> I got Sebastian's so got to go send some emails real quick. Oh my God, I got so excited. Yeah. I imagine like, I, I, 15 things pop in my head all at once. Yeah. <laughs> wow, oh uh, yeah, yeah. We should do that. We should just imagine. We that. should do oh, what? Done. It's done. <laughs> we yeah. should all oh, go home and imagine. Imagine, yeah. imagine how we'll Turn the lights off. Elf. Lock the door and imagine. Elville is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right, all right. This is Robbie. Excellent question. That's, that's, a, that's Excellent. a reason to break the form. Yeah. When you, got, when you got fire like that, you do not wait till the act break. Yeah. You say it right away in the middle of the introduction. 100%. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, this is awesome. Well, Riley, I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, so I do want to say that you did go to the White House. I did go to the White House. That's true. Because you're a climate influencer. Yeah, I think they had. They just basically pulled up a list of all the people who um, do climate change uh work on on social media and i think i was like right at the bottom of the cutoff and they let me in which was great that's amazing um and i was the it was me and one other person and then a bunch of 20 year old tiktokers oh and it was very it was a very interesting dynamic to meet all these and they're very cool people yeah 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 that i now i now officially have a couple of gen z friends yeah i was gonna Whoa. say was it like a hype house vibe where everyone was trying to collect like, white house, hype house you're waiting house. for yeah, yeah. joe to come in where you guys like we gotta meet up and collab when you're in brooklyn it Dude, we'll do this it was kind of like that yeah yeah i mean everyone was like really it was it was like we we're meeting santa claus for real like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah and and it was not a guarantee they're like we want to invite you to the White House for the inflation reduction. Sorry to get political on you, but the Inflation Reduction Act, that's it. That was the whole, all the politics. Um, was Most being people signed. that care about, uh, but, but people are idiots. No one even knows what that is. Okay, well, there's there a big <laughs> act, and, and uh, it got signed on, on a certain day. Which is and amazing. It, it was really it was cool, and it was like a you know huge piece of climate policy, landmark, whatever. Um, and so, so you made all these TikTok influences. Yeah, so we're like, they bring us in, but they're like, we just want to bring you to the White House. With, yeah. with no, like, there's no, you won't meet, like, the president, you know, just, like, sure. come in and, and you know, a, an event of, a, a day of events. We, we, we went in, um, and they, they ushered us into this room, and... How are the met- chairs? You're sitting in a White House chair. What what type of chair we're we talking? It's 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 wood. Mahogany. It's like ornate mahogany. Yeah. I only know one kind of fancy wood, but luckily it was mahogany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and uh and so, you know, there's like these nice chairs and it was like a big room with a big conference table. Do they put out snacks for you? No. No what? snacks. No snacks. Uh, Ooh. Just, no snacks. No, That's yeah. wild. Yeah. I think they assumed that we would be too excited to eat. When I was not, I could I could have eaten you know nice. like people a bunch need to, of snacks. People need to get over themselves. Which I'm people? The White House Biden? people? <laughs> Biden? That's everybody? This, everybody? This asshole together. thinks he runs the country. Like you come to my mother's house, I got snacks instantly. Everybody, uh, there's less than three people. No, I would say I don't even know how many people that if they're like you got to get on a plane, you do all this shit to meet me, and then no snack, like no food, no snacks, like nothing. a water bottle. Like people don't think about their like I always say this about weddings is like people that their weddings don't think about the people coming to the wedding they think about themselves <laughs> and it makes me sad to hear that Biden, the, the government is doing the same <laughs> shit. Let me tell you what they're not thinking about <laughs> themselves. Bro, they're not thinking about the people there. What you're saying, Robbie? I don't, I don't think my so. question was a joke. <laughs> There should be snacks. Well, well, Biden is not the the wedding planner of every event. At no, the no, White not House. him, but like the team. I guess they should have had snacks. Yeah. They should have had snacks. I Everywhere think, has snacks. I think I I have a theory on why they didn't have snacks. Okay, I want to now that okay. I, now that you're forcing me to think about that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. When you're when you go to a place and it's got snacks, that feels like a oh, this is entertainment. You know, like we're go- uh, we're having a nice time. This this was like I think they wanted to put us in business mode. If I used to work at J.P. Morgan, there was oh anything that was like elevated importance. There was a snack. They had like a tiered. There'd be like tiered snacks, and we would know. Oh, is this gonna be an important meeting? We're gonna get tier three snacks instead of tier two snacks. Or they got the Shelby like bottles here. Or then like bacon, or like you know what I mean. It would mm. be 
like boxed shit and then maybe like all right cold but there'll be bagels and stuff and then there would be like the eggs and the bacon and the there was always tiered snacks i hate to say this robbie but there were not snacks. Yeah, although no, you know, know what i i take it back because at the end of the okay, e- day back. If well that. well <laughs> I think you'll see why. You'll see okay, why. Okay, I we'll see, we'll yeah, see, we'll yeah. But uh, feel free to pile onto that one sentence and then find out why you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, you listen. You know the bullshit we pull. <laughs> we, we have guests come on, say one word, and then we shit on them. <laughs> then it's 45 minutes. Oh, of, I'm not uh, shitting on you. I'm, no, I feel no, bad I, yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, I wish yeah, they, yeah. they were thinking of you more. We want you to have you know what? in the world. <laughs> Shockingly, I had a delightful yeah. time. I'm, okay. <laughs> no, I'm sure it was mad cool. So we went. they brought us into the Roosevelt Room, which is a big room with – um paintings of the, all the presidents named Roosevelt, um, of which I assume there were two. Maybe there were more. I can't. I don't know. Um, but then they handed us each a box of <laughs> M- M&Ms that were White House brand. Or, uh, so like a box of M- like White House branded m and You want to know something? Huh? I've been to the White House, and I got the same fucking M&Ms. What? Wait, this when is did just you go to thing? the White House? I went to the White House. I was uh, as a child. Like um, part of a group or as no, a tour? No, a private tour. We uh, knew some, I knew, my aunt knew someone that worked there. Uh, cool. And we went and we got to meet Sox, which was Bill Clinton's cat. So we got to go in a room and pet the presidential cat. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And um, and they gave us, they sent like uh, us like a little care package. Mm. And it came with M&Ms from the White House. And then they we put them in the freezer and then one day I ate the M&M's and my mom flipped on me. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing with the M&M's? What the fuck <laughs> oh, are we going to do with them forever? She wanted yeah, yeah. They're chocolate. We How will we remember yeah. we went to the White House without M&M's, yeah, Sebastian? Yeah. Like, my mom freaked on me because I ate the M&M's. Yeah. The M&M's had to be eaten. The ceremonial M&M's, <laughs> Sebastian. What, what was I going to be 50 years old and be like, I'm moving again. Like, so grab the M&M's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many houses was this M&M's going to see? I mean, I think you did the right thing. Thank I gave you. them to my dad. You did? Yeah. I thought he would he would uh, probably enjoy them for a day and then eat them. And that's yes. what I wanted. Oh, yeah, Do yeah. Do you know the secret of them? Mm-mm. They're red, white, and blue. Oh, I never knew because I didn't you open, open them. the box. Wow. They're red, white, and blue. It is kind of weird that a company... Like a, a you know like a publicly traded company with mm-hmm. some like potentially politically dubious ties to the cocoa industry <laughs> has some kind of like handshake agreement with the White House to like every time someone goes here, merch m- like market our product for yeah. us. Yeah, it's like could, could, could you get yeah. loud about nothing hats delivered to the White House, and That'd so every incredible. time someone meets Biden, they get a loud about nothing hat for free, like a White House loud yeah, about nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. hat. I guess you'd have to be more of an American institution. I mean, are M and M's like one of the pillars of America? I guess. I guess people like chocolate, and what other what chocolate brand would be better to go with? What chocolate brands more, um, I guess, American than M and M's? Hershey bars. Hershey isn't M and M's not Hershey. No, no, Mars. Different Mars family. is a different country, different, different planet, even. It's, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, wild. Yeah, this, is <laughs> this is the Illuminati. Dude, they're this is us, the li- lizard brain. Yes, they're all aliens running. The- <laughs> And they've been telling us for years right in front of our faces, and we've never put it together until Robbie knew that M&Ms were from Mars. Well, I didn't know. It's so cool that you got to go do that. It was rad. We met we met Kamala. We met mm-hmm. Biden and their oh, the chief cool. of staff. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Kamala exists still. I was shocked. I hadn't seen, seen hide nor hair of her <laughs> since the We Did It Joe viral meme. But she's around. She's, she's hanging. Around. Yeah. She's hanging. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love this. It was cool. Yeah. Um, now and then I then I went to the the cheesecake factory. I got a chocolate really? martini oh, really? to, to, to celebrate with myself. I just, that's amazing. I left the, all the influencers. None of them could drink. I don't think. Anyway. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> a couple of them could, but uh, mostly they were very young. How mm. did they get into it? Getting into yeah, like climate stuff. Oh well, so a lot of them are just like sustainability and social justice. So the Inflation Reduction Act has like a couple of like social justicey pieces to it. Uh huh. Um, oh, okay. And so I think they went down the list, and there were like people with millions of followers, but yeah. they're like just po- yeah, politics yeah. influencers. Uh, um, and then at the bottom of the list was like me, basically that's for amazing. for real. Like I'm not just being really? humble. No, like, I was yeah. like, I was like uh, having having you know under a million followers somewhere. I think is like was rare to go to the White House. Wow. Very, yeah. Very, but I also like 
I think somebody was like, we gotta let this guy in. He he's he's doing nothing but climate shit. Like, yeah, give him yeah, a yeah. fucking bone for once. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. This give him give moment. him some of those M and M's and send him on his way. Yeah, Should yeah. we get the snacks? Nah, man, not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let this guy does not deserve. Let snacks. the record show. Bad Bunny, probably the person I want to meet more than anyone in the world. If he was like, come to my house in Puerto Rico, I want to hang out with you. And I went for three hours. How Did long you bring were you me? There? Four, four, five four, hours. Four, five hours. Four, five hours. Four, five hours. Yeah. I yeah. went to his house. Did not offer me food. Only offered me M and M's. I'd be like, that was a little weird. <laughs> Can I just say not, this? And I'll be so excited to meet him. Most loud about nothing combo. <laughs> That's you <laughs> saw the president, and all we're caught up on is the snacks, and that they didn't present. Yeah, them. and and you guys are mad at the president for their <laughs> not, not being exactly snacks. Like, him, but just like <laughs> the president, like five hours. I mean, no snacks. <laughs> he like popped into the room for. <laughs> 15 minutes yeah. on on his like 45 item agenda day yeah, yeah, yeah. In, which included giving a speech to the world oh my god and you guys are mad that there weren't more like pretzel sticks yeah. in I the bet, Roosevelt yeah. room Jeez. 100% it's so fun yeah we got priorities yeah. we have priorities here wow if I ever go back I will I'll send a I'll send an email before I get there that says there better be some goddamn snacks, snacks. and not just M&M's or bring your own and then when you go through security <laughs> oh, yeah. they'd be like why'd you wait you can't bring these in I'd be well, like sorry here. last time they didn't provide me any snacks <laughs> right. I yeah. guess I need to provide my own <laughs> oh yeah I, th I thought I was supposed to cater this because you guys <laughs> yeah. aren't doing it <laughs> yeah. it'd be really pissed Right, right. <laughs> yeah. You're ordering pizzas. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's uh, 1600. <laughs> yeah. And then whatever the White House address is. Yeah, Pennsylvania, yeah. Pennsylvania, Avenue. Pennsylvania, yeah. Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. Pennsylvania Avenue. We all knew it. I know from the Josh Gatt show. Um, is that a real thing? Yeah, he had a show, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh. Um, beautiful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I was talking cool, about though. the Josh Gatt cool, show. Very cool. yeah, yeah. Very... I, never, I never saw it. I remember the posters. It was a big joke. Um, tell us about, so, uh, we want to talk, we'll talk Christmas in a second, I know, I know. Uh, yes. I know, I We know, got I know. three bullet points, White House, Billiards, <laughs> Christmas. I mean, because you, here's the thing, Raleigh, you do fucking stuff that no one else I know does. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's very that. cool. It's, you do, you live a cool life, man. That's really, look, I, I didn't say it, Sebastian said it, but I appreciate you saying that. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't feel like that, but I really appreciate it. Of course, because there's a lot of, bo um, there's a lot of mundane in between yeah. editing videos, going to work, yada, yada. I mean, I spent, I spent over an hour today uh, walking back home because I forgot my fucking keys to my office. So, yes. you know, it's like not all, it's not yeah. all fun stuff. Of but. course, but from the bullet point, what I see, the spark notes of your life mm -mm. is fucking tremendous. Yeah. So well, thank you. Got, you. Yeah. It's also like everybody's going to have to do some shit they don't like all the time. So to be in the realm of like shit you love which is that's amazing what do you think yeah. Bad Bunny does that he doesn't like I, he I don't know I'm sure he's got to do rehearsals and edit Famously listening to the masters or, or certain songs I mean Bad Bunny's doing a lot of shit he loves <laughs> 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 did you see did you see um was it Bullet Train I did not. I gotta you, watch it. Are you kidding? I know. I know. I gotta watch it. What are you doing? It. I know. I gotta watch it it's on Netflix. I'm I doing, know. I'm doing this. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm getting see, home at like yeah. midnight and I don't. To start a movie that late to me is like uh, I can't start Insane. a movie. Insane, I understand. Insane. Yeah. Bad Bunny rips in that movie. Though. Oh, oh, I've heard really he's great. Like I gotta watch. We'll it. watch. We'll watch. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely watch. We'll talk about that in the new year. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So tell me. Uh, so you got you are fucking. You're obsessed with pool. I love it. Is it corny when people call a pool? No, it's fine. It's a pool is actually the I think the preferred term for it. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. So then the what word, the fuck is this billiards shit? So billiards is a blanket term for all cue and ball sports, and we all know this obviously. Holy shit! But, I didn't know it was a rectangle square situation. Uh, yes, exactly. Wow. wow! And for a second, I thought you were talking about there was some sort of pool table that's in the shape of a square. Oh! No, and no, I was no, like, no, this no. is great. I I gotta learn this. No, we're um, we're a math pod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love geometry all, on the pod. It's all Italian all references and, ma and geometry <laughs> references and a lot about nothing. Yeah. Not um, all billiards is pool, but all pool is billiards. Uh, yes, that's yes. exactly right. There you go. And so the way and and pool, in fact, is another. So billiards is a blanket term. Pool is a slang term derived from the room where they used to pool bets in gambling oh. parlors. You would pool up your bets, um, and they they had billiards table or you know like yeah, cushion yeah, yeah. pocket billiard tables there, and they started calling those pool tables. Yeah. So it's an Americanism for. The, the table and then there's a bunch of different games in pool which is like eight ball and nine ball and straight pool where you like you can shoot Holy any shit. ball you want another rectangle square another situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah wow within a rectangle square situation that's really cool that's yeah. interesting we need to add a third dimension now it's like 
sphere versus yes. oblique spheroid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are other billiards games like? Nine ball, uh, eight ball, no, straight. Not, do you guys hear? Do you guys table. hear that? That's the sound of all of your listeners not <laughs> giving a shit <laughs> no, about think, what I'm are other pool games. I think if we're interested, people are. Okay, don't okay. point to me. All right, I'm barely interested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's the big one? That's a different table. It's like British. Yeah, you know, that's your. Right. That's snooker invented snooker. in 1875 so by Lord Neville Chamberlain. Lord. Lord Neville Chamberlain. And that's wow. billiards. That's another billiards. See, yeah, that's cue cool. and ball. God. Yeah. Cool. What do you say? I think that? this is Why cool. Point to that. What? What? Well, well, you? That's. What? Well, you knew that? No, because like it's not just games on the pool table that are considered billiards. There's mm. different tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah billiard is a, I think a French word for like the collision or something i'm not i'm not really sure oh, the collision uh, of the two yeah. balls yeah what do you think about when people start explaining like physics and they pull out pool balls Annoying um, to you? it's i guess it's a little it's what well, the Geometry. problem is they know way more about physics than me but they know way less about pool than me uh, and when i learn something from somebody i want to know that i'm just like stupider than them in every way so when they pull uh, out pool balls i'm just like okay well those two balls wouldn't be hitting each other so Oh. There, those are two object balls. You'd use a cue ball for that. And it just, like, it takes me out of it. Yeah. But luckily, I don't get a lot of physics lessons nowadays. But this was <laughs> nice. I like this one. I like physics. Have, it's, I, I mean, it's great. I just, like, I, sh I should seek it out more. There but. was a time in the COVID where I was like, I'm going to learn quantum physics. And Did you? I, I, it's, I, I, I ate an edible. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I, 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 I ate an edible and mm. then I, I stopped. It's really complicated. So you both did and didn't learn quantum physics at the same time. So tell us, so you got to comment. It, it's so cool because it's like a, it's a hobby, a passion of yours yeah. that you get to fucking, you're in the big leagues. Yeah, it was crazy. So I got an, I got an email that was like, do you want to be the commentator at the World Cup of Pool? And for and the people that know nothing about pool, that's the event, right? There, you know what? It there's a there's a number of events. I think the biggest event would be the Moscone Cup that just happened. Okay, that's like sort of if you know about golf, there's like the Ryder Cup. So it's like the best five Europeans uh, and the best five Americans face off. It's the same thing with the Moscone Cup, and it's just it's just like a fun event where everyone gets really drunk and you just are like shouting at the table the whole time uh -huh. and la i went i went to the one in london last year yeah the best time of my life i got so trashed with this irish dude Ugh. we were both rooting against england it was great Ugh. and then i got covid and they made uh. me stay in london for 10 days oh and i was just like in this horrible little like room for 10 days yeah yeah um but it was worth it because i love the moscone cup so much yeah, so that's worth it that's the premier event and then the u.s open is another big event yeah. So the World Cup of Pool is actually maybe not as premier of an event, even though it has a cool name. Yeah. So, um, but it's like, you know, it's like a big, so it's televised. Yeah. yeah. It's what? It's compensating a, a little bit. Yeah, for absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's a doubles tournament, which is kind of strange. Oh, that's oh, interesting. that is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, it's like a, the, the, I mean, I don't know. I, we cut all of this, but in, in, uh, <laughs> no, no, in the no, tournament, no. in the tournament, you alternate each shot. So like you make a ball and then your opponent your or your partner comes to the table and then they shoot and then oh uh, it's not even turn it's not even turn oh so that's you have to weird. be really in sync with yeah, your partner yeah yeah it's like uh, like do, yeah it's like skating together almost Cause yeah because I, I learned I was bad at pool when I heard someone else is like I'm setting the cue ball up for my next shot mm. that's where I'm like. We're done. <laughs> We're done. I'm done. We can't play. You know. Oh uh, yeah. Not yeah. only do you have to get it in, you're getting it in in a way that then allows you to get another one. In. Yes, yeah. that's that's what everybody's playing. And these dudes are playing like four shots in advance. Uh, like this is this is yeah. some like next level. And then the ver and then you realize like no, it's just fucking pool. Like at the end yeah. of the day, it's just like a, you're, you're poking a ball with a stick. You know. Sure. It's, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 fun, but it's also this this particular event was pretty serious. So they had, you know, they have the commentator booths, the whole thing, and I, and I got the email. They said, "Do you want to commentate for the World Cup?" And I said, "Absolutely. This sounds sure. great. You're great. You're a comedian. You know how to talk." And I was like, "This is going to be easy for me." Yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, "Okay, so I know everything about pool." 
school uh-huh. and I'm also like I just I dropped five thousand dollars at the UCB like I can riff yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. no problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> scat my way to the final always trying to find ways to like get that investment back a little bit that's, that's right the that's UCB right price absolutely yeah, that's, oh that's still on the top of your mind you know what's yeah. funny the day I realized I earned more money from UCB than spent I felt so fucking good yeah it was a it was a positive investment I won yeah you did it you beat the system I beat I beat UCB because <laughs> how many people just sank 5k into it and did got nothing out well of you it. got you got paid for the billiards events that's so, true that's so true. there we go that's true so yeah, I did go. too yeah hey, this is a great day <laughs> <laughs> this is a really great day so you're announcing you're yeah there. so I get there and like I meet the other announcers and uh-huh. they're legends of the game like like Jeremy Jones is this guy who knows everything about pool and he's uh-huh. also got this deep Texan Texan voice. Oh yeah, you know the problem with that shot is uh, it tends to roll on you a little bit as it comes off the rail and you end up short on the next ball and it really you know and just like uh-huh, wow this guy yeah. knows everything about the game. And then this this dude Phil Yates who's like this amazing announcer who yeah. announces golf and snooker and everything British uh, deep oof. chocolatey voice. And then um, Carl Boys, very funny dude, multiple uh-huh. time like world champion, cool guy. I'm like, great, I'm gonna be like the kind of color commentary. There's like play by play and then there's color commentary. So the pros, the experts, you know, like, okay, the next shot has gotta be this. And then you'd be like, well, that's gonna be pretty tough. Oh. You know, like, oh, he's knocking at the door of failure here, you know, like, yeah, or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're also, saying catchphrases. Yeah, that's Four right. Four people, it's so crowded. Well, you, and you alternate, it's either two or three people at a time. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Because okay. you take breaks. You take a long breaks, day. Because yeah. these are each day. like, it's, it's like six, six games in a row, each game is an hour. So you like, you really try to alternate. This is amazing. And then it turned out that I was terrible at commentating. <laughs> You're bombing. I bombing bombed at the World Cup. So hard. And this is like a what live a hilarious televised place to thing. bomb. It was it felt so <laughs> the pool bad. World Cup. I know. A place you didn't even know a bomb could a happen. Bomb could, it was, yeah. it's it's everything is set up to perfectly cater to all of the things that I think I'm good at. And yeah. I cannot string a goddamn coherent sentence together. This is a good lesson. People, you could bomb anywhere. You can bomb anywhere. Yeah. And like, I mean, t- in my in my absolute minorest defense, yeah, like yeah. they threw like the first couple games I got put on were these teams I didn't really know about. Sure. Just all these different countries send their best too, so it was like Qatar versus Morocco, and yes. I had never, I didn't know any of the guys, I didn't really know their histories, I didn't even know how to say their names right. Oof. And then I just like got up there, and I just could feel myself. Just sucking. It doesn't just get better bomb. when you feel the bomb. Yeah, and then and that at what arena? line did you realize? Was there like a moment when you're like the first Sebastian? The first the first thing. And how many hours is a day? Uh eight. So And like how many days five. was the event? Five. <laughs> Oh, 40 hours. 40 hours of looking at the devil. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It was <laughs> so Raleigh. tough. It That's was hilarious. so tough. Raleigh. And like, did you sleep between the nights? Not well. Yeah. Not well. Yeah. It was, I mean, after day two, you got to be like, this is hilarious. I'm just going to sleep. There were times. <laughs> what there, am I going to do? <laughs> at some point, I like, I just accepted that yeah. I was going to like not be good at this thing that I really desperately wanted to be good at. And sometimes, like, that can be your personality. You could be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I wasn't even making that work. Like, it was, uh, the other problem is you're in a soundproof booth. So there, uh, and there's no reaction. Part of your, one of your headphones is the, is the live broadcasting team calling shots. They're like, okay, we're going go to go to the wide, cut to the close. Let's get a reaction on this thing. So, like, cool. half your brain is tied up thinking about uh, shit that cannot help you in any way. Yes. And then the other half of your brain is, like, trying to make sense of what's going on and riff with the the expert who actually knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the same time, all of your confidence is gone. And this is when I say you're, I mean my. I was yeah, really, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like the lowest I felt in years. <laughs> at, at a place, <laughs> you're you're the place I world. love. Yes. yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I mean, it's like, it would be like if I got like, oh, my, my dream, you know, like dr- you, you finally got a date with your dream girl. Yeah. And then... Uh, 
you ju- you just like nut and your body didn't work. You just like couldn't put a sentence together. You couldn't throw any game. It's happened, baby. Blue juice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, <laughs> no, nobody no, gave you kidding, advice. Kidding, nobody was like, "Yeah, hey, this is how we do things." A little bit. Everyone nobody, was giving me advice. The, of the other wow. commentators. That's everyone. That's, that's almost worse. worse. That's it, worse. It, it, it was only worse because I couldn't make any of it work because I just couldn't do it. Yeah. I just like it. Wow. Just wouldn't. I couldn't make it. I, I don't know. I, I can't even really describe why it was so hard. And I did okay. Like, as the as the week progressed, I, like, was researching every single player. I knew I had, yeah. like, copious notes. I should have just prepared a lot more. I think that was the thing. I walked in thinking, oh, this is going to be – I know enough about pool. I know enough about, like, conversations and just riffing. Yes. This is going to be easy for me. And wow. it turned out it was absolutely not. Wow. Did you just start saying stuff like – now that's fun. Now that's a good shot. I mean, yeah. It's hard. Wow. No way. Also, you don't way. want to step on anybody else's toes, right? Because so they're it's doing like, I have job. to find your. You have to find your role. And it's like if you, yeah, if you were a massive celebrity, you could have just went in and just been like, I'm just gonna make this the Raleigh show. Yeah. But you didn't want to make it the Raleigh show because you are a decent person who has like I, yeah. aware. Better than me. Well, he would have made it the Sebastian. I show. would. I would have. It wouldn't. He would have just been, been the fired. Sebastian. I think I would have <laughs> been fired by the end. Of, if I was bombing, I would have been fired by yeah, the end of day of one. Of course, he would have fired. I yeah. actually think that Sebastian might have made it a lot funny. Like made it work. No, like no. I think you would have just found a rhythm and like figured out how to how to be part of the the squad. And this, I just like wasn't. This would have been me, Raleigh. No. I go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How long is this event? Oh my God. I love this. I don't anymore. Fuck me. I loved this and now I hate it. I would openly be shitting on it. I would say, I'm not having a. You are a, 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 you, a good human. You're a human being who knows how to behave. Sebastian Trice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was it, the first two days were really hard. Yeah. The last couple days got a little easier, but only because it you know like once you get stabbed in one hole yeah. and you get stabbed again in the same hole, uh, there's just less skin to stab. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, like yeah, I just yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. like I slowly like, hollowed my chest out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know it felt better, but only because I couldn't feel anything. Now yeah. I would be remiss not to ask this question. Sure, sure, sure. How were the snacks? <laughs> <laughs> Were they good? They had. Snacks. I bet you they had some snacks. They please, had snacks. please, please Raleigh, don't tell Raleigh. me there was no snacks. For there days. were no snacks. Oh, no <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Hey, fuck. What? These people are. This is ridiculous. This is a high concept humiliation. Uh, this is ridiculous. And I, I keep going to these places and there are what no snacks. What the fuck snacks. are they doing? I actually, I actually cannot believe there was no snacks. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you this much. We got, <laughs> we got eight hour you could, days. You could buy snacks from a nearby cafe. For sure. Wait, okay. not even in the vicinity. It, not in the not in not the area. On the premise. Not on the premise. They Holy would allow shit. you to buy things. You could go buy a snack <laughs> if you wanted. Or. Every day they served uh, a, a lunch, okay. but the okay. but the the people serving the lunch were were like it was like one older lady and she would make one lunch at a time and it took her so fucking long Jesus. that and the lunch hour was only like forty minutes uh, and so if you weren't there right at the beginning you didn't get a lunch <gasps> uh, and it was I mean I I think I got a lunch every day but it was there was like there was a time. Yeah. When uh when I didn't get a lunch, I think that they failed more than you. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I did not do well. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm know, they, no, 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 I'm no, telling no, you, no. they took they took a <laughs> shot on me, and it was a misfire. It didn't work. <laughs> you know, like they they tried to set me up for success, and and they didn't. Can I, you say I, you that know. in a pool a, a pool way? Could, like someone really? Oh yeah, it? you know, I think. Um, Actually, this sort of thing happened at the Moscone Cup, where okay. this guy, this like ordinarily really rock solid player named Tyler Steyer, yeah, yeah, he had a routine run out. He uh-huh. had had hit two balls in that were right over the pockets Beautiful. to like put his team in a, in a in a in a chance to like actually come back and win, and he just hit a ball too hard, rattled the pocket, and like left left his opponent with the eight ball hanging over the pocket for the loss of the tournament. Oh my! And God. the opponent walked up, put the ball in, and this is in a this is a guy. This this, is a, this guy's name is Joshua Filler. Uh-huh. He's this German wunderkind. 
think he's like 23, world oh, number wow. one. He yeah, can beat yeah. anybody. He can yeah. beat the fucking doors off of any player alive right now. Sure. Wow. Um, and he's also like a little bit of a shit stirrer. And so like when he wins, like this is the biggest tournament of the year. Like he was like really poised to win. He was really excited. And when that when the guy like beefed that shot so hard, Joshua, everyone in the stadium felt so bad for the guy who didn't hit the shot in that when he went and won the tournament, it was just like he just dapped the guy up. And it wasn't like a, they didn't like celebrate as hard uh, as they, they always uh, do. And this guy like, notoriously would be someone to do that. Absolutely. I saw you share the video and you said, if you know what this, you don't realize how big a this oh, is. yeah. Is that the video that you shared? There was a different one. That oh, was okay. like this Scottish dude who's got a rivalry with this this deaf guy from South Dakota. Oh, wow. And it's like, I mean, there's, I don't know, like every, there's, there's a, a million stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a WWE, but of. Yeah, WWB. Balls. WWB. That's actually what it's called? No. no. I, don't oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, thank you for sharing. I'm sorry. Of course. It's, sorry. Uh, it's I, I'm sorry that I left you. No, it, it honestly it feels good to to talk about it. You know, like yeah. I think I think it helps expunge uh, the demons of doing so bad well, at a any, thing I want to do so good. Of course, and if anyone runs a pool competition, um, I know I know someone. It, I hope it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done telling a story about how punishingly bad I was at this one thing. I'm good at other stuff, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. was I was not good at this. Uh, let's talk about our Christmas event. Oh, yeah. yeah it was I want to say this. We've done a lot of events, right? Yes. All of them have been fine, right? So the yes. events haven't been the, the focal point. This event felt the most, like, m Christmas magical of them all to me. Absolutely. Yeah. It was like small town. It felt like a – we keep talking about how great New York is for Christmas time, but there's something about events – to make them feel small and like community based, that really made it fun. We went to the tree lighting in um, Brooklyn Heights. Yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights. Heights, like the Which promenade I love Brooklyn over Heights. there. Yes. Um, and it was so small town, but with millionaires. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We should say that it was fucking filled yeah, with millionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of the nicest places to live in the all of Manhattan or all of the five boroughs. Yeah, truly. Like uh and but it was so quaint and beautiful and I'm so happy. I don't know how many people that we've done this with that I would uh feel comfortable acting like a, a just joyous. Oh, yeah. Sebastian yeah. fully leaned in. Oh man. He was he was the email king last you night. You were the spirit of Christmas. Emails. I was. <laughs> Sebastian like made friends with Santa Claus. Like Santa that's Santa Claus. Like, literally <laughs> the organizer of the event. Yeah. His Christmas carol. He just kept running into people and like so I was like, "Hey, uh, you know, like what do you do when people try to sing with you?" And they're like, <laughs> "Sing with us, Sebastian." And he got in, he like riffed with a fucking choir, a buck a choir of carolers. Yeah. And they loved him. They're like, "Here's our we, 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 we carol over here at this church. It was actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would have been open and vulnerable uh, with some people that would Definitely not. Yeah, definitely not, Raleigh. So it was beautiful. I'm was really like, happy that you were yeah, there yeah, yeah. to experience that with us. Um, there was like a little kid who, who I think was like a time travel version of young Sebastian. Oh, yeah. You remember right, this kid? Right in yeah, front of right us. In front, and he like really made a connection with Sebastian and kept turning around and looking at Sebastian. And Sebastian's like, Doing doing crowd work with this kid, it was really cute. <laughs> I like. It was cool to see you in like a Christmas element, man. That was rad. There's a there's a part of me that loves being pure happiness, mm. and there's so much of the fucking devil on top of that. <laughs> this it's just uh, time weathers that down. Sure. Like for anyone, right? Yeah, but yeah. But I think for me, as a, like being that pure happy, I love that. Mm. Yeah. And I don't think I'd get that unless I had a kid. So it's I'm so happy I got to like have this moment of like just saying yes to things yet last night and like watching the tree and it was so fucking cute. Yeah, it was funny. The tree. It was very cute. If you have not been to Brooklyn Heights Promenade area, it's incredible. My favorite place to go in all of the, all of the five boroughs. Incredible. I always. Yeah, and I, they have this cute little tree. What did they do? That was uh, the secret. Ah, uh, uh, I'll tell you the secret. They wrapped the trunk of the tree with lights. Mm. Yes. So the whole thing was so illuminated. Yeah. It was remarkable how bright this, because they did no decorations. Yeah. You Just know my white lights. Just white lights. It was beautiful though. Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, you never think about how when you see a decorated tree that's just wrapped, it's like there's sort of a, a dark shadow that you've wrapped with lights, but when you wrap the inside, it, yeah. it you see the, every branch of the tree in really bright 
light that you don't normally see is really cool. It's fucking awesome. Do you have a tree in your house, Riley? I got a little tree. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. A little tree. My Do parents. My parents um, have. I think we just bought them a, a fake tree, and uh -huh. so I'm sure they've set it up. I'm gonna. I'm visiting them for Christmas. So that's we'll see nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. They don't normally do a tree. They they normally do like a fake like a they used to we used to like go out and and not maybe not cut down a tree but go to like a tree farm and like they'd cut it down and oh, yeah. I have like a, I kind of have like an old school both of my parents are older uh -huh. and so I think they kind of harken back to a sort of a yesteryear Americana of Christmas. What does and that mean? So we like you know we'll have like cinnamon ice cream and like sit around the tree and we used to listen to this um i, I was telling about this last yeah, night yeah yeah there's this radio program called the cinnamon bear that was uh -huh. in the 1930s they recorded it it's a radio show like a radio play so it's all these different people playing characters and it's it follows the the saga of young jimmy and judy barton a couple uh -huh. of like nine-year-old children uh -huh. who like follow a like an ornament through a crack in the attic and like go into this magical world and there's all these different voices oh, and that's like really cool. m monsters and like Christmassy things. There's not, and you were saying that it was one every day. Like yeah, there's like 30 episodes and they're oh. each like 15 minutes long and you listen to one a night. And, the, and as a kid, like we used to listen to one a night and then I, I would, I remember begging my parents to be like, we have all of them. They're all on tape. Let's just blow through the whole thing right now. Yeah, like yeah. we all, we, we, uh, what, we have two and a half hours. Like it's yeah, 8.30, yeah. we could we could do this and be in bed by midnight, no problem. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, I was like, hey, this is, I, I, I uh, predicted uh, binging culture in the Netflix uh, world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's yeah. all anyone does now. That's so funny. Yeah. But like, they were just like, no, we're gonna listen to it one a night. And like, you know, it's like a real nice tradition. That that's so, have. yeah, that's- That is really nice. That's really sweet. Uh, there's something about that, like the advent calendar of like radio plays yeah, a yeah. little bit, right? Truly, yeah. That's, I think there is something nice about like, gathering together as a family for 15 minutes. That's, there's something pure, it's about you being together. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, um, I mean, that, that's what I mean when I say, like, old-timey Americana, like, Christmas shit. Yeah. I, it, it just, it felt like, I don't know, there, it, it was it, it was very pre-internet, very pre-9-11, you know? Pre-9-11. Yeah. yeah. After 9-11, oh, all the man. family, it was, it was all just candy in the yeah. rooms alone. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of Al-Qaeda, yeah, it was a whole thing. Um, So, I, we did a, uh, come across some carolers, mm. and I do want to say this. Okay. Um. I, I, I heard them singing and I go, hey, can I jump in here? Can I sing? And they said, sure. And then they go, yeah. I, I actually asked them, what did I ask them? I go, I go. What's your policy on yeah. someone wanting to sing with you? I think yeah, it was even like it was even less less like asking. It was like, what do you do if some goofball like tries to like jump in? As yeah. if like kind of just striking up a conversation, I think. Yeah, I want to know like if I'm watching them, can I sing with carolers? Mm. Uh, right, like, right. Like, cause you know, they're singing Deck the Holes. I know the fucking words, yeah. Deck yeah, the yeah, Holes, yeah, come yeah. on, right? I'm like, can I sing watching you? And they're like, jump in. And they hand me a, a sheet music. Yeah. And they're like, come on, we're going over here. And, and I thought it was just going to be like singing. Like you said. So I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll do this too. And then, then you all of a sudden, are like, oh, no, I got to stand over here because I'm a tenor. And I'm like, yeah, this is above my ability to now, do anything. Now, Robbie, imagine <laughs> if you had to do that for 40 more hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I would be going. I would go home and be like, "What's a tenor?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, day yeah, yeah, one, yeah. be like, yeah, I don't was... know. I'd be, I would just. Oh my! And when I was doing it, because yeah. I sang in the choir a little bit in college, um, I was so stressed. I was so nervous. And the guy next to me, I was like trying to listen to him as I'm reading the sheet music, and he kept like holding his ear like when I when I would miss a note he would like correct himself by doing this I was like I'm fucking up I was so focused on doing a good job I mean we have a lot there if there's a behind the scenes uh content drop or something we got a lot of footage of Sebastian singing with this choir Oh yeah yeah like, we, like we will drop it out of it. This yeah, is yeah. Me Check the Instagram. not confident he's, at he's, loud about he's nothing locked in You want to see Sebastian perform yeah not confident I was not confident Almost at all Almost never happens but. I was still I was terrified I was truly terrified you know what? I was in bed last night thinking, what if I wish I could go? I'll never go practice choir. With them. But there's something I could imagine myself as an older man singing in a choir, mm. really being humbled by like just how mediocre I am at that. 
I bet you you could. I mean, like choirs got to be all all different like skill levels. You could probably yeah. find a real shitty choir to just be the Mariah Carey of if you wanted. Or I you, don't or, want that. Yeah, that's good. I that's don't good. want that. You know what I mean? I like. There was something really nice about how warm those people were to us. Mm. Yeah. It was truly... Everybody was really nice. It was magic. And we're just standing outside. I just sang with the choir. We met Santa Claus. And then just some guy goes, roses? And gives us roses. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was nice. It was cute. Like, what the fuck? When does that happen? You know when it happens? When you're in the richest part of Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they weren't worried about uh, uh, yeah. homelessness in that no. part of Brooklyn. It's truly... To have money is nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To have for many reasons, but also for the Christmas season. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It yeah. was nice. They were like, yeah, we don't, we're not going to make this corporate. Because we were talking about how the Bryant Park Christmas tree lighting was so corporate, and theirs was like the complete opposite, um, which was nice. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. And I think that it was sponsored by Brooklyn. Um, they were giving Brooklyn out free roasters. Brooklyn yeah, roasters. Yeah. But I'm sure they just paid for that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And sure they paid like, for that Santa. And they paid for the Santa. Yeah. The Santa was funny. He was yeah. great. The Santa, there's something about the Santa that I, I liked, but I was a little bit on the edge because the Santa was like doing sort of like Pixar movie jokes where they're like nodding to the uh, to the adults in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. Santa, the Santa got a, there was a baby and they were, gave Santa a baby to hold. And then he like kind of, the Santa kind of clocked that we were standing there. And it was also like, if, if you're like adult men in a place with a lot of children, I think the tendency is to feel a little creepy. And I it, like sing, yes. you know, single men without, you know, like we yes. didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was. We were I trying to wait before for the kids yeah. to take the oh, picture. We, we can go stand somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. We were while very, the kids take the picture. very patient. Yeah. yeah. But I will say I did not feel creepy in any way. And I think that was well, the spirit of Christmas shining through. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I also think we we're really smiling. Yeah. I think in an event like that, if you really like, like I can't hide nowhere. Right. <laughs> so I might as well just smile and be yeah. like, I'm here. I'm here for a good time. You yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. Right. It was all kids. And then the. Us three goons. That's true. Um, yeah. Waiting for the pictures with Santa. Yeah, I would but, say right. during the lighting, there was other people. Definitely. Yeah, but yeah. he was he had the baby, and yeah. he goes, he goes pass the baby to the left-hand side. Yeah, yeah. And who, he kind of gave us the eyes, too. Yeah. yeah. Who the fuck are you doing this for? Yeah. Who's who, your audience, buddy? Who's your audience? It's not me, because, you know, I want you to be Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I was, want you to yeah. fucking be Santa. He also... Made the creative choice to make Santa British, and I don't think he was British. Yeah, no, this guy not. was just like yeah. my Santa rendition is a British man. This which man, is a funny thing to decide. This yeah. man's a lead at his community theater. Big time. Uh, uh, big time. He had big lead community theater vibes. Okay. On his shoulder, oh, he could have been a real actor, but he, yes. you know, he, he, he got gave, passed over for the part because his director didn't like him. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. and he'll deal. always say the person that got the part over him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe Pesci. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hugh Laurie. <laughs> yes, hundred percent the Hugh Laurie vibes. Yeah. Um. But no, yeah, I liked. I want the Santa to pretend to be Santa for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not at the. Fu- if he I was wanted, pretty committed. If I want to make weed jokes, you know where I could go? Anywhere else in my life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any Anywhere other day? Else. Yeah. Any other month? Yes. Yeah. April, for instance. Of yeah, course. Yeah, really lay it down thick. I don't need Santa Claus to come to me. Although you know, Santa Claus was killing so hard. He was Rushing. crushing with those people. He Rushing. sees three dudes and he's like, "Oh, I, it's not enough uh, for me to yeah, kill with, I with keep everybody. It rolling. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get a hundred percent. Yes, of that's the exactly here. what was happening. Yeah, and you're right. That's what was happening. I, yeah. think, I mean, I think this is a high quality, top tier Santa. Yeah, and Ooh. I think he was just going for it, and he just, he just didn't know that he was talking to people who wanted him. Wanted more Christmas be, than yeah, funny. Christmas, yeah, 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 yeah. He would crush more with us to just continue to commit to Christmas. Right. Can right. I ask you a question? Yeah. How'd you feel that Santa wasn't fat? Now remember, you're talking to a fat man when you answer this question. He was jacked. He was like a jacked was, old guy. He was young, dude. Yeah, I like, wouldn't be surprised if he was, yeah, like a 70-year-old dude with an eight-pack. Yeah. <laughs> like wild. Here's the thing. He wasn't overweight at all. Mm. He wasn't small. So what he do wasn't we think skinny. about this? I wouldn't say he was skinny. Don't, put, don't worry about my I'm, feelings. I'm not worried about Close your feelings. Your I'm because, really trying to think about this. I... It didn't. I didn't even notice. You either didn't even way, notice. I didn't even notice either way. Yeah, I, I noticed. When, because, what did you think? Well, because my plan, if everything, even if everything goes right, right, <laughs> if even if everything goes right, that I could be a mall Santa when I'm old. That's your back pocket career. That's my back pocket career. I sure. could, I could be a Santa when I'm old. And so we don't need it to change directions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, there's a Santa shortage. 
This, but this guy is not a product of a Santa shortage. No, he's, he's been a, doing Santa for. I sh- that's yeah. a relevant point, actually. Yes. No, but I yeah, wonder yeah, why yeah. there is a Santa shortage. You think it's keto? I don't. Know. It's got to be. You keto, think keto's man. fucking the Santa? Because that's what Maybe I was thinking. They're just not paid enough to risk the seeing COVID? a bunch of strangers. Yeah, the last few years. Oh uh, yeah. It's Santa like, can't right. wear a mask. No. That's, yeah. Santa can't wear a fucking. How do you explain to your kid? Oh, Santa's magical. He could travel the world in one night. Yeah, but also, yeah, you're. The mask, is it even going to do that much? If kids constantly Not, this, nothing. that, yeah. like, you got to be wearing Wiping, a high duty yeah. mask. Most kids aren't wearing that mask. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah For yeah. the picture, they're not going to want, yeah. It's, a, it's also like a little bit of a dated tradition of like, hey, child, sit on this strange man's lap. Yeah, it's weird. Yes, it's it totally weird. It's got, and, and so like any any little divot, any drop in popularity, it's hard to make that up. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, come on, everybody, let's go back to... Throwing our kids on the laps of older men. You know, yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. tough to get back. What I liked about last night is they just stood next to each other. Yes. Yeah. Let's get into that. Yeah. Like yeah, like they're yeah. um like they're like a, a a K-pop band or something. Yes. Just stand uh, in amongst yeah, the just yeah. step and repeats. You yeah. can still have a nice set. You could do a whole situation. It doesn't need to be a lap. But yeah. that's only that's only available when the sand is jacked. <laughs> a fat Santa can't do a step and repeat all night. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So okay. maybe it's a full, oh. maybe we're making a full lane switch yeah. into skinny Santas that no one sits on their lap. Well, who do you uh, think was the first Santa to be like, I'm not fucking standing around. You know what? I'll sit down and have kids sit on my lap. He like, changed the game. He he. That that he was a changed. that was an innovating Santa. You know, you know, Larry, uh, Larry at Woodbridge, he sits. Yeah, he exactly. sits all day. Yeah, exactly. Larry said, "I'm gonna fucking sit." They're yeah, all at the yeah, bar yeah, in their yeah. Santa costumes. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna fucking sit down here. And first, he brings a folding chair, and they go, "You know what? I'm gonna bring an armchair." Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna bring a throne. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you don't get to sit in a throne often, but Santas do. Well, once a year, you know. Of course, you gotta. And yeah, also kids get scared of Santa. It's a strange man. They feel yeah. the energy that it's a yeah. strange person. Yeah. And it is a, it's a guy in a fake beard usually. Yeah. That's like kids kids are kids can pick up on that. You know, I they're know. like, what is this dude's deal? He had a real beer last night. Did you think he? So? Yeah, what do you mean? You think it was a spirit glow situation? I don't know. I forget. I mean, a, a ca- <laughs> Robbie's done. <laughs> Robbie's done look. talking about this. I'm trying I don't to think care. how close it was to his face. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was pretty close to his face. Yeah, it was probably real. I assume always the Santa Claus beards are fake, but uh, that's, that maybe actually, that's a, you know that's what? A wrong assumption. I think you might be right. I saw, yeah, the humans in New York just did the Santa Claus thing. It looks so real, and then they show you the face after, and I was like, holy shit, I can't believe that that beard was fake. Mm-hmm. They have they do a tons, yeah. yeah they, they're they like put advanced on like, makeup. It's like Broadway makeup that yeah, they put yeah, on their face. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what was fun about last night? We had this joy, this magic. We we met Santa, I caroled, right? Um, and then instantly we went to the most dirty, diviest bar. Oh, yeah. I wanted to chat Filth. out before we leave. <laughs> F&F Pizzeria. Oh, yeah. Incredible. One of the best pizzerias. Yeah. I think it's the best Fire. pizza that you can just like easily walk up and Accessible. get uh, a pie. Accessible. Get the pie. Get a full pie of the plain pizza. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, we did go there, which I'm happy we got to show you our like favorite that was pizza spot. That delicious, uh, and then we went to this fun bar that we like too. We, we went to Alibi. Alibi. Oh, Shout yeah. out Alibi we, in Fort Green. It just probably couldn't be the more different than the events that we went to. Oh, oh correct. Yeah. It There's was nothing just, Christmas about that bar. No. And everything Christmas in the same way. Yeah, like, just yeah, like hanging out, place, talking, yeah. bullshit. Yeah. We were in the back room. Your friend from like growing up came, which mm-hmm. was cool. And you just shouldn't bullshit it. Yeah, I guess that's what's fun about New York, right? In Westchester, they couldn't go to a place like that no. instantly after. Right, right. Yeah, there was a fire. This There's is a place pool. where, like, there was a pool table, and you will get hepatitis from it. Oh, yes. This is like yes. a cash gnarly. only. But it's this is that I will say this: it's one of the flattest pool tables in the entire borough. Really? The Alibi pool table, famously a very nice table. It goes it looks Alibi. Horrible. It's well, it looks bad, but the cloth is really well worn in. So it's very flat, and the cloth is very fast, which means the balls move around really quickly, but they always go straight. It's a real good table. Wow. It's kind of butted up against the wall on the south and west side of the table. Mm-hmm. 
So that sucks. So Alibi, if you're listening, you know, scoot it out two feet. There's no way. I know. That. There's <laughs> no way. Or taking advice. They're taking advice. <laughs> they don't give a I, shit. Right. Like, Shout out Alibi. We yeah. love Alibi. You alibi. told me a story that you had to clean up your friend's vomit at the place. They wouldn't even true. clean it up. Well, they, <laughs> they, they didn't move the tape. They <laughs> wouldn't even acknowledge it. Like, oh. if, if I didn't clean it up, I knew no one was going to clean that vomit up. Yeah. And I was going to show up again in a week and it was still going to be there. And like a new species of. And, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, botulism yeah. was going to be growing in it or something. <laughs> Absolutely. So it was fun to experience both sides of New York yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we got all the sides of the spectrum. Just like it's important to feel joy and melancholy, yes. we had to go see a tree lighting and almost see a dude get stabbed at Alibi. Yeah. That's important. That is really nice. There we go. Is there anything that you want to plug, Riley, besides Climate Town? You know. Everyone, please go watch Climate Town. Uh, it's he, great. It's great. YouTube videos, they're fucking funny. It's great. And you learn something by accident. <laughs> try, try not to, I dare you. You'll oh, learn. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn you something good. I will say, um, <laughs> I will say, uh, please go watch more pool online. Specifically, I love Match Room. I think they do really good work. Um, I'm sorry that I fucked up uh, the commentary, but I I really I believe in what they're trying to do. So Can I really appreciate. Can people watch it. your commentary online? I I honestly I don't I'm not, lie, don't I, lie, I, I, I won't, I won't. don't lie, This is another one of those things where I'm like backing up to get a running start at a story, and everyone thinks I'm running away. I'm running towards. <laughs> okay, 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 towards. okay, okay. I okay. think they maybe don't have it online because my commentary <gasps> was so not no. Good. No. no no i don't know what can single handedly take down the world I'm cup like that 5% i i believe that with 5% of my heart and i think the rest of it is it's just like not one of the premier events that gets a lot of like clips and stuff sure. okay but um yeah i mean i like, guess also the full length you there's highlights i'm sure but there's not your commentary on the highlights that's there's right. like you piece together the highlights of everything yeah yeah. But 40 hours worth of it. It doesn't exist on like a Sky Sports app or I something think, like that. I think they have um, streaming deals that in <laughs> – streaming deals yeah. um, <laughs> that in, in a few years they can drop those. But uh, for like the, 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 their streaming deals are like for a year they can't like broadcast. It's exclusive. Oh, interesting. interesting. I think that's the way it works. Well – Cool. So go watch other billiards. Yeah. With great commentary. Out. And then yeah, imagine good, Raleigh just going, uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's going to be – he's going to have a – that's going to be – oh, man. That's going to be a hard a hard shot to shoot. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Oh, no. but, but it was know like what? What? In the scenario, even less worse than that would feel worse. It did. <laughs> and it did. Uh, uh, Robbie, what do you want to plug? Uh, this podcast, please keep telling a friend. Listen to the 12 Days of Christmas before Christmas. Um, yeah, we might have some extra surprises up our sleeve. Who knows? Depending on how well these Christmas series does. So please tell a friend and keep spreading the word about the 12 Days of Christmas and get caught up. Yeah. Also, if you want, you could stream our show that we did. On, yes, we at on this Friday. point would have done a show on Friday, and you could stream that through the holidays. It was hilarious. It was a blast. Yeah, so it was, check it out. It was the best show you've ever seen. Uh, Dude, that yeah. goose, the goose thing. Oh, the goose. The, the goose. goose. Oh no. Uh, excuse me. This is not what I ordered. <laughs> that murders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so check it out. Uh, check it out. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, keep sharing. Uh, keep enjoying the Christmas season. We love having you here for us for the Christmas time. All right, Robbie, hit the fucking music. <laughs>